Definition of social control is the social processes by which the behavior of individuals or groups is regulated, as stated by Scott and Marshall in A Dictionary of Sociology. It is also the mechanisms by which social norms are upheld and enforced, as stated by Calhoun in A Dictionary of the Social Sciences. There are two types of social control, formal social sanctions and informal social sanctions. These two social sanctions rely on each other. Formal social sanctions rely on informal social sanctions. Without a strong influence of informal social sanctions, then the formal sanctions would not work. The agents of social control are the parents and family, your peers, friends, and romantic partners, your teachers, coaches, and school officials, bosses and coworkers, police and court officials, and most importantly, you. Formal social sanctions. The definition is me mechanisms of social control by which rules or laws prohibit deviant criminal behavior as stated by Conley in, you may ask yourself, an introduction to thinking like a sociologist. They exist because of legislation. The lawmakers, such as representatives and congressmen, get the input and opinions of the citizens of society and put these opinions into law. These laws are then carried out by the law enforcement, such as police officers or court officials. Law enforcement helps enforce the formal social sanctions. Examples of law enforcement or agents of formal social sanctions include police officers. Police officers patrol the neighborhoods at night and keep a lookout for social deviants. If they need to convict someone of a crime, they take it to the law, court of law where a judge official will declare their punishment. They will then have to serve, do serve jail time or do community service. Rules on signs are also a, an example of formal social sanctions. These signs, no smoking and no dogs or animals in the play park, prohibit smoking or animals playing in the park. The sign on the right prohibits people who are not who do not have a handicap parking sticker to park in that spot, or they will be fined a minimum of $131. Informal social sanctions include are the usually unexpressed but widely known rules of group membership or the unspoken rules of social life. Socialization helps us understand and internalize these unspoken rules of society. Socialization helps us remember these rules so that we do not do it again next time. Forms of informal social sanctions include ridicule, sarcasm, disgust, criticism, and neighbor watches. The Luncheon of the Boating Party, a portrait by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, is an example of an informal social sanction. In this picture, Everyone is looking at someone, but no two people are looking at the same person. This is an observation, observational picture. Everyone is judging everyone, and everyone is looking to see what everyone else is doing. Ridicule and mockery. This is an example of an informal social sanction, because this person is in the public square being mocked by the townspeople. And over here we have an example of the scarlet letter. Criticism and disgust are also examples of informal social sanctions. A coach or teacher may criticize your work in hopes that next time you will do it right and find a solution to the problem. When a person sees the face of disgust on someone else in the room, they will probably not do what they just did. They learn from this mistake and try to remember not to do it. And the 
The Neighborhood Crime Watch is also an example of an informal social sanction. The neighbors might get together and decide to keep an eye out for crime and other suspicious activities. This may also include a grandma looking out her kitchen window and watching some little boys play baseball on the street and keeping an eye out for any suspicious people or passerbyers. I hope that you've learned more about social control and how it works in our society. Have a great day.